Remote management of PLCs is a mission possible. Modern PLCs use Ethernet to communicate with other equipment. Now, although it's often assumed that the only secure way to connect is within a local network, this may not always be the case. Using the right technology can help you connect to your PLC securely, efficiently, and remotely. The benefits of remote PLC management are many, from saved finances and time, to increased efficiency, minimized downtime, improved data collection, and safe accessibility. For this task, we recommend choosing professional router like RUT240, which will be able to sustain the challenges of industrial environment and offer advanced security features for your solution. There are different types of PLCs in the industry. Some of them come with WebUI or CLI support, while others use specialized software for completing various tasks. In this video, we will show you how to access your PLC using Ethernet communication. As you may know, PLC programming and maintenance jobs are done using only specialized manufacturer software. This software can be highly expensive and it would not make sense to buy it separately for each engineer. Here, having a remote access option could be a game changer. There are two ways you may go about creating a remote access to a PLC. You may use a public IP if it's available. However, it has some downsides too, like additional costs and increased security risks. When there is no public IP available, we suggest using a VPN service to establish secure access. For this specific task, we recommend using our own RMS VPN. This service allows for remote and secure access of PLCs with pre-configured IP addresses. So, before we begin, let's look at the simple topology. We'll use the RUT240 Industrial Cellular Router for this demonstration, which is a perfect choice when you need to set up connectivity for remote solution. Since our remote router doesn't have a public IP, we'll use our cloud management platform RMS to establish a secure VPN connection to reach the Siemens PLC remotely. Thanks to our partner, Anet Automation, from Turkey for helping us to prepare this demonstration. For RMS VPN details, consider watching our full step-by-step -step guide. To set up an RMS VPN, first, let's connect to RMS. Next, select RMS hubs on the left sidebar in the RMS VPN section. Click Add New VPN Hub. Enter the name of the hub, optionally set the description and tags. Then, open the newly created hub. In the general window, you will find the main info about the hub. Click on the Add Client button and then select an RMS user from the list. The user will appear in the client's list. Repeat the step to add the device. The selected device will appear in the client's list. Next, go to the Routes tab. Toggle LAN forwarding to reach the PLC devices connected to the LAN. Click the Add Route button to set up a new route. From Autoscan, select your specific device. Next, restart the hub to implement changes. Configuration is complete. VPN configuration file is in the Clients tab. In the Actions column, click the Download icon. Locate your OpenVPN configuration file, OpenVPN Connect software and import this OpenVPN file. Click Connect. And that's it. We are connected to our RMS VPN hub. Now we can connect to our remote PLC device and use the manufacturer's software. We hope you found this information useful and following these steps helped you successfully establish remote access to a PLC. Let us know how it went in the comments. Also, if you have any questions about the process, feel free to ask them too. Hit like and subscribe if you like our videos and see you in the next one.